What made the Vita unique among the weapons of World War II was the fact that it could not be intercepted. There was no defense against the rocket once it was in the air. Sixty days after the offensive began, the local Woolworths in Deptford, East London, was crowded with shoppers, mostly women and children, when a V2 hit the store. My school actually was more or less on the corner opposite where the, the bomb had gone off. It was a, a very devastating thing. We knew lots of the, of the women that were in the shop. They were neighbors. And uh, I can remember one, one of, the, of their children came into us and said, Mummy hasn't come home. And actually, Mummy never did come home. We didn't know at the time, but it turned out to have been the biggest V2 disaster in Britain. The shoppers never had a chance. 240 of them were killed or seriously injured. In all, 1,100 V2s struck England, causing over 9,000 casualties. Destruction of property was massive. In London alone, half a million houses were destroyed. As the final months of the war drew to a close, the Germans, who had stockpiled thousands of both the deadly V1s and V2s, continued launching their V weapons. When the launch sites in France and Belgium were overrun by the Allied armies, the Luftwaffe began using bombers to launch V1s. Over 1,000 were fired in this way. Hitler also launched a V-weapon campaign of terror against the Belgian city of Antwerp in a desperate bid to stop its port being used by the Allies. 9,000 V-1s and 1,600 V-2s were fired on the city, causing 10,000 casualties. But time had run out for Hitler. The Allied forces were already advancing into the heart of the Third Reich. Yet both the V1 and V2 continued to be launched until six weeks before the war's end on May the 8th, 1945. Although the V weapons did not win the war for Hitler, they did have an immense effect on Allied resources. They forced the Allies to divert thousands of aircraft, 2,700 guns, and a quarter of a million troops from frontline duties. After the war, conflicting opinions rose as to how effective the V weapons had been to the German war effort. General Eisenhower, the Supreme Allied Commander, remarked that if Hitler had succeeded in using the V weapons against English ports instead of London, the invasion of Normandy might have been written off. On the other hand, Albert Speer, the German Minister of Supply, thought the V2 had done the Germans more harm than the Allies as the quantity of highly skilled men and scarce raw materials could have produced a large number of jet fighters which would have been decisive in the air war. With the war's end, there was a frantic race between the victors to capture as much information on the V weapons as they could. The Americans took the V-1, renaming it the JB-2, which they planned to launch against Japan. 100 V-2s and tons of spare parts were also seized and transported back to the United States. But the victors also wanted the scientists. Werner von Braun made a conscious decision to offer his services to the Americans. And on May the 2nd, he surrendered to the American army. Von Braun and his team of 118 German scientists and engineers went to work for the Americans at the White Sands Proving Grounds in New Mexico, developing guided missiles. Due to their new allegiance, it was considered unwise for them to take pride in the A-4 weapon system, which had been used as a means of terror against Allied civilians. In America, 
Werner von Braun's leadership qualities again shone through, and he was able to return to his original dream of putting men on the moon. He was a genius as an engineer, as an organizer, as a project planner, as a leader, as a person who could convince others of uh, his ideas. I think with Werner von Braun we would not have uh, uh, the space comb that we have today. We certainly would not have been on the moon and uh, we probably would not have an international space station going around the Earth today. Werner von Braun had begun his career with the top secret rocket, but his dream was realized when in 1969 the Apollo spacecraft landed men on the moon. It was just 27 years after the first successful launch of the A-4 at Pinamunda. Munda.